So no, thank, first of all, really uh, good morning to everybody. And uh, I, would I would really like to thank all my colleagues of CNR for inviting me to take part of this webinar. And uh, I enjoyed some of the talks, not, not I, haven't, I couldn't listen to, to everything, but uh, the, those who have listened were very interesting. And, uh, and I would like to thank, of course, the Italian ambassador to Georgia, um, Enrico Valvo, and, and especially the directors, David Lorco, Panizze and Constanza Migliani, and also all of you, all the guests and other distinguished speakers who have participated to today's webinar. So Georgia represents a country of significant geopolitical, scientific and cultural interest for Italy and the Siena in the framework of the development of its international scientific and technological cooperation strategy. And in fact, in July 2018, uh, the president of the National Research Council signed a scientific cooperation agreement with the Shota Rustaveli National Science Foundation of Georgia during a mission of the president of the Italian Republic, Sergio Mattarella, to Tbilisi, precisely with the aim of strengthening scientific cooperation between the two countries and promoting collaboration between our scientists and research institutions. I also, I must say, I also remember very well my visit to Georgia. Um, the very first time it was, I think, between 2005 and 2006, if I remember well. So already many years ago. And uh, I have really uh, um, a great memory of this, of this trip to Georgia for me for the first time. And, and the signing of the first agreement also that we had with the, uh, uh, I think that the, at that time there was the ambassador um, Fabrizio Romano, who was there, the Italian ambassador Fabrizio Romano. So the scientific agreement, as you know, represents as of today the institutional framework within which we support mobility and joint research projects, where cultural heritage and new technologies applied to cultural heritage are the priority areas of interest for the development of scientific cooperation between the two countries. In the last call for the Biennium 2021 and 22, a total of five research projects were funded, including yours. And a new call is currently, um, is currently open for the Biennium 2023 and 2024 with a deadline with, uh, of the 7th of July, so quite uh, uh, in a few days, and, um, and focusing again on the area of cultural heritage and new technologies applied to cultural heritage. So I therefore really invite uh, those who are uh, uh, listening uh, to, to, to this webinar uh, to, and who are also interested to consult the new call on the CNR website. Uh, and see if it's uh, uh, the good time for making a new, a new proposal. So the aim of our agreements is therefore to foster through bilateral cooperation, the consolidation of scientific relations and the exchange of know-how for desired evolution of collaborations in, in a multilateral scenario. And also EU, EU projects such as, for example, in the framework of the Horizon Europe, also considering the fact that Georgia is an associated country to Horizon Europe and can therefore take part in the program under the same condition as the member state. CNR has as many as 51 bilateral scientific and technological cooperation agreements developed with research institutions, universities and ministries in 37 foreign countries and 87 memorandum of understanding with 42 countries. The memoranda in some cases are preparatory to the development of the agreements themselves. So, right. So, uh, um, so these are the, um, uh, the, the, the list of the, um, of, the, um, of the bilateral agreements that we have. So I'll just go quickly so that we, you, you have seen also Georgia, of course. And um, so these are the, uh, um, and um, in addition to this, uh, to this, um, to the bilateral scientific and technological cooperation agreements, I would also like to briefly illustrate other instruments for the international cooperation that contribute to making our institution fully open to the world and, and that foster the process of brain circulation 
again with the intention of contributing to the construction of knowledge-based societies as the only solid basis for a true human evolutionary process. So this is the short-term mobility program um, allows Italian researchers on an individual basis through participation in periodic open calls to conduct research activities with foreign research institutions and universities of international, of international prestige. So the Italian researcher is uh, um, available to choose whatever country he wants in order to go uh, uh, and have this short-term mobility. But this program also enables qualified foreign researchers to carry out a period of research in Italy as at our laboratories and research institutes. The CNR funds short-term stays of 21 days for Italian researchers and 10 days for foreign researchers. So the list that you see here, these are the countries where our researchers have chosen to go in this in this coming year, 2022. And, um, and this on the other side is um, are the, the foreign researchers from where they come from. So this is just, just uh, um, uh, an overview. Um, Siena also um, participates in the European Research Council's Visiting Fellowship Program having signed an agreement, and this is quite interesting also for, for um, both for our researchers, but also could be interesting for, for Georgian researchers in the um, European Research Council. In order, uh, we have, so we have signed an agreement with the European Research Council to connect ERC's short-term mobility program with this important new initiative of the visiting fellowship program, which allows researchers intending to submit uh, a, a, a NERC research project to join the team of ERC called WINA for a certain period of time in order to gain the necessary experience for future submission of their own proposal. So this year was uh, the first time that we launched the program, uh, so in 2022. And, um, and it was linked to our short-term mobility pro program. And, and two researchers uh, in the fields of physics and engineering have received the grant uh, in order to, to, um, to go to work with uh, an ERC grantee. Moreover, and this is uh, the slide that you are seeing, moreover, uh, CNI is funding the creation of joint laboratories implemented by CNR researchers in cooperation with researchers from research institutions in foreign countries. One aspect that makes the joint laboratories instrument also open to innovation is that these laboratories are open to the participation of public and private companies that wish to join the project with their own funding. CNR funds usually between uh, 20,000 uh, and 50,000 euros per laboratory per year. On average, two laboratories are funded per year through annual open calls. In recent years, in agreement with CNR department's directors, priority has been given to physical sciences uh, and bio agri food sciences. One it was in 2019 and the other one in 2020. And these are um, other slides, this first one and the second one. Uh, of course, um, all of this project that you see there for uh, these years uh, have been stopped for, for the pandemic. So there are, uh, 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 they will follow for the next, uh, probably this coming year, and perhaps the next one. It depends if they will finish uh, their, their project or not. Um, in addition, and I think this is particularly interesting for you to know that we are also funding uh, the establishment of international two-year joint archaeological projects and laboratories. So these are, uh, um, this is, is, as you see, the slide describing the joint archaeological laboratories and illustrating the results of the 2019 and 2020 call. And again, these uh, uh, are uh, already also uh, going uh, ahead in this year because of the, of the pandemic. And last but not least, I would like to recall our fruitful cooperation with the, our Minister of Foreign Affairs in the full sharing of the development strategy of scientific di diplomacy. 
also through the continuous and constructive exchange with the ambassadors of the network of Italian scientific attaché. Um, also wishing, of course, to emphasize, as President Carrozza said in a recent speech, uh, President Carrozza, which is uh, who is the uh, Italian of the, the CNR president, in a recent speech at the French embassy, the role of science as a peace building tool through the sharing of cooperation in research and its results, always striving to keep the exchange of knowledge free of limitations or boundaries. And uh, I will conclude my presentation by quoting the preamble of the UNESCO constitution that states, since wars begin in the minds of man, it is in the spirit of man that the defenses of peace must be constructed. So I really thank you again for, for having invited me. And, uh, and I wish you really a very fruitful work. Thank you.